Assalamu alaikum, Halima here, your Quran lifestyle coach and founder of Quran Rehab, where we help Muslims to revolutionize their personal relationships with the Quran so that they can transform their lives and reap the endless joys of living a Quran lifestyle. In a beautiful hadith, the Prophet said, Innakum la tarji'una ila Allahi bi shay'in afdala min man kharaja minhu. You will not go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with anything better than that which came from him, meaning the Quran. Now most of us know that the best way of getting close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of really building that special relationship with him is through the Quran, right? But if you were really honest with yourself, could you say that you were completely happy and satisfied with your Quran relationship? That you've never dreamt of having more with it? Think about it for a moment. Have you ever listened to the beautiful recitation of the Quran and during the Qari's tilawah you hear his voice start to tremble a bit and then all of a sudden he uncontrollably bursts out into tears and it left you thinking to yourself, wow, I wish I could have that level of awe for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and really connect and have that deep emotional connection with the Quran. Have you ever known somebody perhaps who's gone through some really terrible struggles in life and despite that they march on with such an amazing attitude and when they tell you it's because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he provides them with everything they ever need through the Quran it leaves you thinking to yourself gosh I wish I could rely on the Quran like that for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's comfort and for his strength when I go through my own problems in life. Have you maybe come across a story in a book or a YouTube video perhaps about a really inspiring individual who after discovering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and integrating the Quran into their life, they were able to experience phenomenal transformation and success. And it left you thinking to yourself, gee, I wish I could connect with the Quran in that kind of personal way so that it can transform areas of my own life too. Well, I know that I've personally craved these kind of amazing you know, experiences with the Quran. And I also know how frustrating and how painful it is even to, you know, really want these amazing goals of building that really personally meaningful and fulfilling friendship with the Quran, but not really quite being able to figure out how to practically take that Quran relationship to the next level. And I say that because although there are some fantastic courses out there and some awesome teachers who can teach Muslims tafsir and tajweed and Quran memorization etc and other areas of that are important to our Quran journey I'm sure that you've realized like I have and a lot of other people that these academic categories of uh, study of the Quran they don't in and of themselves automatically guarantee us the achievement of those deeper Quran heart goals as I like to call them where you really want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to to shake your heart to awaken it and you know be wowed by the miraculous nature of the Quran Quran heart goals like wanting to be able to feel Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love for you through its pages that you can't help but cry and your heart wants to burst out of you know burst out of love in return for him. Quran heart goals like wanting to be able to connect with the Quran on that personal level where you feel Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's really talking to you where you can really experience for yourself just how beneficial and how relevant the Quran is to every aspect of your personal life. Quran heart goals like wanting your interactions with the Quran to be so exciting and so meaningful that it leaves you with a deep thirst for the Quran. You know, where you keep constantly going back for more and more until that connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes a habit for you in your daily life. Quran heart goals like wishing the Quran no longer revolved around your busy life, but your life started to revolve around the Quran. Because through it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He became your source of energy. He became your source of strength and your source of comfort, your source of decision making in everything you do in your daily life. Your source of growth that really helps you to unleash your full potential and you can start transforming your life and live a Quran lifestyle. Now this realization that we don't necessarily achieve these amazing Quran heart goals by simply going to tafsir class or memorizing a surah, or even through our habitual interactions with the Qur'an when we read it in salah every day or when we read it from cover to cover in Ramadan for example it's a reality that more and more of us within our communities are waking up to and that's simply as youth are you know, opening up and telling us that sadly they don't feel the relevance of the Qur'an to their personal life despite the fact that they attended madrasa as children we're realizing this uh, more and more as parents are approaching scholars and imams to find answers to very basic questions that their children are asking them like 
What makes the Quran so miraculous, for example, because they never experienced the Quran in that way. We're reala realizing this more and more as students of knowledge and her father even. They're confiding in one another, complaining about the emotional disconnection that they have with the Quran, despite the fact that they spent years studying and memorizing it. Unfortunately, what's becoming more apparent is that it's more and more common to find people's personal relationships with the Quran at more surface level than without a lot of substance and depth. I mean, I myself remember the nights when I would cry myself to sleep, absolutely terrified that I might die not having achieved more with my relationship with the Quran. I remember feeling a confusion and a void going from book to book, you know, course to course, trying to desperately find answers to those deeper questions I had of how I could attain my Quran heart goals so that I could develop that more personalized friendship with the Quran that, that my soul really craved and needed. Now, I remember I would constantly be searching for answers. And with each passing day, the failure to find those answers, it kind of leaves you deflated, right? And you begin doubting yourself. You think to yourself, is it because I didn't have the advantage of growing up around a lot of knowledgeable people that I could ask those questions to? Is it because I'm not fortunate enough to be able to Go to those classical Arabic books, for example, to find those answers because my mother tongue was English. Is it because I'm not financially well off enough to be able to go to one of the Muslim countries and study that under some scholars? Is it because I don't have the luxury of more time in my busy life to be able to dedicate to that pursuit? Is it because I'm just not smart enough to figure this out? Or is it simply because I'm just not worthy enough? Maybe I'm not a good enough Muslim to deserve that kind of relationship with the Qur'an. Do any of those thoughts sound familiar to you? Well, despite these inner doubts and the practical struggles that I faced on my Qur'an journey, I kept on searching for answers. But sadly, what I found was that the majority of the information available to me on that subject of how I could attain my deeper Qur'an heart goals and build that personal friendship with the Qur'an, it primarily focused on the importance of that kind of relationship or the reward of having that relationship. And aside from that, the information I found was pretty much generic or abstract even. Things like, you should spend more time reading the Quran or you should make more dua relating to that pursuit. Now, don't get me wrong. Although these things are really valuable and important, I'm sure you can agree with me that, you know, while reading the Quran, uh, more of the Qur'an for some people, it might help them to, in some way, better connect with the Qur'an. For others who, let's say, are reading the English translation, it might only cause more doubt and confusion, right? Because the Qur'an is so unique and it doesn't read like any other scripture that we're uh, regularly exposed to. And while dua is certainly the weapon of the believer, that kind of general advice, it doesn't specify what specific action we should take alongside that dua. Because you and I know as Muslims, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He expects us to show effort and to take action alongside reliance on Him, isn't it? What I found from my research is that there really existed no um, relevant and structured process, no A to Z, step-by-step -step guide to show how any one of us could go about attaining our deeper Qur'an heart goals and build that personal friendship with the Qur'an. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, well, why can't we just build a personal friendship with the Qur'an like the Sahaba did? They had the best kind of relationships with the Qur'an, didn't they? Well, yes, they did. But if you actually look back at the method in which the Qur'an was revealed to the Sahaba and the way that they bonded with it as a result, you'd find at face value at least that this process is not something that we can identically replicate in our times to ensure that we get the exact same results. Because the Qur'an was revealed to them over a period of 23 years, for example, whereas now we have the full Mus'haf before us today, isn't it? We know that the Qur'an was revealed to them piece by piece and according to certain situations and events that they experienced in their personal life that have now come to pass. You know that the Prophet ﷺ and the Sahaba, they were Arabs who we know were very proud of their mastery of the Arabic language, whereas now the Qur'an's followers and the majority of its readers are non-Arab with very little knowledge of the Arabic language, right? So you see, it's when I experienced this really painful void for myself of not finding this 
ready-made practical solution to a really um, you know, fundamental and important spiritual need that I had that I dedicated my life to finding a relevant blueprint for myself. And what I did was, over the last decade, I educated myself in the Islamic sciences and in personal development. I exerted a huge amount of uh, effort and energy uh, trying to figure out and trying to create strategies for all the different types of obstacles I faced on my Quran journey. And I then also conducted my own research as a coach, working with hundreds of other Muslims to develop their own personal relationships with the Quran. And when I did all those things, subhanAllah, patterns in our personal Quran relationships, they started to become more and more clear to me. The key stages that defined a really fruitful relationship with the Quran versus a really unfulfilled one became apparent. Alhamdulillah, I finally discovered how I could achieve my Quran heart goals and build that really personally meaningful and deeply fulfilling friendship with the Quran that I had wanted for so long by following a really simple four-step process. Let me tell you what this four-step process has done for me. Now, I went from being amazed by the computerized, reconstructed miracles that I watched in prophetic movies to be blown away as I sat before the pages of the Quran experiencing a real miracle for myself in real time. I went from trying to figure out how I could build that emotional connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the Quran to then being completely overwhelmed as I discovered how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually loved me as his creation making it effortless to love him back. I went from, you know, really struggling with my focus and my motivation and procrastination when I dealt with my Quran studies and memorization to then understanding how I could approach my Quran time on fire with awesome levels of energy and purpose and presence where I actually really enjoyed learning and where subhanAllah, I even missed the Quran when I was away from it. I went from primarily turning to the Qur'an when I just wanted comfort, you know, in the hardships that I faced or for solutions for problems that I faced in my life, to then rushing towards the Qur'an all the time, you know, for insights on topics of interest as well and for inspiration when I was already winning and I wanted to take things to the next level and for decisions on, you know, for, for guidance on decisions on all the daily actions and tasks that I had to do regardless of what it was relating to or how big or small. And that was with full confidence that what I was going to find was going to truly change my life. I went from trying to cram whatever little time I could find in my very busy life for the Quran towards shifting to more of a Quran lifestyle where everything started to revolve around my relationship with the Quran. I have to say I felt genuinely more happier and more alive. I felt more you know, loved and spiritually fulfilled. I felt more purposeful, more productive and connected. Alhamdulillah, I started to feel everything in my life was becoming more balanced and I started to see the transformations it was having on you know, different areas of my life, subhanAllah. I started to finally experience the type of relationship that I had dreamt of and that I believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He actually intended us for all of us to have when He gifted us with the Qur'an. But I have to say that when I started experiencing these wonderful joys of taking my Qur'an relationship to that next level, I couldn't help but feel a duty of care towards others who I know craved and they were searching for the same experiences with the Qur'an that I was. And that is when I started to share and to teach this four-step process to hundreds of Muslims like you and I in workshops and seminars around the UK. And I have to say I was truly touched and moved by the different types of transformations and breakthroughs that people told me that they experienced in their Qur'an relationships as a result. For example, Sister Safa, who is a small business owner, she told me about the emotional transformations that she experienced. She said, I've experienced a lot of difficult hardships in my life that has often left me feeling alone and unloved. But through your program, I got to experience the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in ways that I never have before. What I learned has helped me to love myself again and it's given me a newfound confidence to be able to face any challenge in life now that I feel Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's presence and his company through the Quran. Alhamdulillah, it's been a wonderful journey of emotional healing and self-discovery for me. 
and Brother Haytham, who is a youth worker and a father of three, he told me about the positive shifts that he experienced in his mindset. He said, by joining this program, I gained clarity on a lot of different aspects of my Quran relationship. It changed the way I viewed and I approached my Quran relationship to begin with. And that's because I always thought there was a one size fits all approach to the Quran. Whereas I discovered that I could actually personalize my approach in order to better connect and make the most of my time with the Quran. And that was really uplifting and motivational. I also got to discover the root cause behind the main problem I struggled with in my Quran relationship. I was suffering from some serious stagnation and I always thought I was just being lazy and interacting with the Quran and the guilt that I'd feel as a result would always weigh me down. But during the program, I discovered that it was actually a combination of some disempowering beliefs I had about myself and some poor lifestyle choices that fueled the stagnation and negatively impacted my Quran relationship. Not only was I relieved, but this clarity redirected me to take the appropriate action, which has consequently led me to achieving some very different positive results. Alhamdulillah, this course really exceeded my expectations. What I essentially learned from my Quran journey is a strategy. And that's what I'm here to share with you today as well, inshallah. Now, I want to make it clear that this strategy, it hasn't come about as a result of me claiming to have extraordinary levels of Iman or anything like that, because I'm human and like you, I struggle with fluctuating Iman. And I have to work hard each and every day to try to better myself as well. This strategy has simply come about as a result of having discovered some things over the last decade from a combination of a lot of learning and a lot of research and a lot of personal reflection and observation too on my own experiences that through the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it has brought about some really significant results for myself and others um, and now what I've done is I've combined all of those learnings and those lessons to create a very comprehensive program known as the Quran Blueprint. In order for you to really understand what the Quran Blueprint is about and how it's been uh, you know, put together, I want to quickly share with you an absolutely fascinating observation from the Quran. So you know how the Quran are made up of ayat, which you and I commonly know to be its unique units, sometimes translated as verses, right? Well, the thing is, subhanAllah, this beautiful term is actually used by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran a countless number of times to refer to a lot more than just that simple understanding we have of that term. Interestingly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually tells us in the Quran that everything in the universe, all of human, you know, all of reality and human experience, they have ayat within them. So for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us that in the birds, in the mountains, there are ayat, that in the past and the future, there are ayat. He tells us that, you know, in our state of being asleep and awake, there are ayat, that in our bodies and the emotions in our hearts, they have ayat in them, etc. But what does the word ayat mean linguistically speaking? Well, if we look at the meanings that are derived from the root word for ayat, it gives us a better understanding. And some of those meanings, they include something that draws your attention, something that makes you wonder and be curious, something that has meaning and purpose and value to it, a sign, something that points you in a direction. And in this case, meaning the direction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, so what does all of that have to do with the Quran blueprint? Well, what we learn from this observation essentially is that the ayat of the Quran, they call and they encourage us to reflect on everything around and inside us because the ayat within them have been placed there to benefit you and I in taking us back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? Well, the Quran blueprint is testament to that very natural process that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put in place. And that's because when I really took a step back and I analyzed and I reflected the successful and the broken relationships that we human beings build with one another, whether that was from relationship stories mentioned in the Quran that I read or from you know, relationship experiences that my clients that I coach shared with me or from my own experiences as well, I noticed patterns within them that distinguished really meaningful and um, successful relationships from those that were just superficial or poor relationships. And subhanAllah, when I transferred those key learnings, those ayat, to my approach in building my Quran relationship and the, re the Quran relationship of others that I helped, it created extraordinary results for those Quran relationships and in helping take us back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, 
This Quran blueprint is simply a four step process that's reflective of four key stages that need to be successfully navigated through in order um, to make any relationship truly flourish, including our relationship with the Quran. Now these four steps, I like to call them the four L's. So we need to be able to learn about the Quran. We need to be able to love the Quran. We need to be able to live with the Quran and we need to be able to create for ourselves a Quran lifestyle. And that's because you cannot build a lifestyle with that which you do not live with daily. And you cannot live daily with that which you do not love. And you cannot possibly love that which you do not know. So when you actually start to learn about the Quran, you'll start to fall in love with it. And when you truly learn to love the Quran, you will want to be able to live with it. And when you live with the Quran, you will then be able to create for yourself a Quran lifestyle. Now, the easiest way of remembering this four step process is through the analogy of a marriage. So you know how when you're first getting to know somebody for marriage purposes, the most important thing at this stage is to invest time in getting to know who that person really is, right? Um, and so this is what step one of the Quran blueprint is about. It's about reintroducing you to the Quran so that you can really get to know and to experience it for what it really is. Now, I know that might sound simple, but if you look uh, in the marriage context, people can still make mistakes at that initial stage, can't they? They can choose to ask questions or to focus on certain information about a person that will only really ever allow them to know that person on a surface level. Now, when it comes to the Quran blueprint, I'm not going to simply tell you facts about the Quran, like how many surahs it has or what its you know, main themes are, etc. I'm going to be, inshallah, reintroducing you to the very fundamental nature of the Quran as the greatest miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah. You know, if you reflect on the process of getting to know someone for marriage purposes, you'll find that us human beings, we're naturally drawn or attracted to things that we find special in a person. And in module one of the Quran blueprint, step one, as I reintroduce you to the Quran and I'll be showcasing for you all the amazing ways the Quran is extraordinarily special and miraculous, inshallah. And you'll find that your heart and your mind is attracted to the Quran and drawn to it in a way that only a miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could. So you'll get to experience the Quran the way it was initially experienced by everyone when it was revealed. Where subhanAllah, even the non-believers, they couldn't deny its miraculous and divine nature. Now, when you think about the main purpose of, you know, communicating with someone potentially for marriage, so you're, you know, finding about their personality and about their values, etc. What you're essentially trying to decipher in that process is whether or not you can connect and can bond well enough with that person to commit yourselves to them, right? Well, in module one of the Quran blueprint, I'm going to show you exactly how you can personally connect and bond with the Quran on that deeper level so that you're not just wowed by the miracles that will be showcased for you, but that you'll get to start experiencing the miracle of the Quran in your own personal life, inshallah. So you'll also be getting to experience the Quran the way that the Sahaba and the believers did in that kind of transformative, revolutionary way, inshallah. So all of that will be covered in step one of the Quran blueprint, the Learn It module. Now, in the second stage of building that really deeply fulfilling and successful relationship with your new spouse now, is to start to build an emotional connection and depth with one another. Because although that first initial stage of getting to know one another, it helps to build those positive feelings, there is actually more to love than that. There's a science to it, in fact. And you only ever have to listen to the wishes or let's just admit the complaints of a married couple to really realize that for yourself. So I'm sure you've heard um, a wife say something like, you know, uh, he tells me he loves me, but I just wish he'd show it a bit more by helping me out in the house, you know, a bit more often. Or maybe you've heard a husband say something like, I know she loves me, but I just wish she would, you know, be a bit more affectionate and hug me when I came home from work a bit more often. You see, what needs to happen to build a good emotional connection with a spouse is that you need to begin to understand and communicate in one another's love languages, basically in the ways that your partner defines love. And when we fill our partner's love tanks, you know, we naturally want to reciprocate that love and show love back to that person. Now, in step two of the Quran blueprint, 
I'm going to show you how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran speaks your love language. Now, not only is that going to make you feel absolutely amazing and make you feel so loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but inshallah, that process will also help make the um, the transition of you falling in love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in return and building that emotional connection with the Quran practically effortless inshallah. And I'm also going to be showing you some really unique and creative ways to make your interactions, your time with the Quran more emotionally charged and more positive and compelling for you inshallah. So that's everything that we're going to cover in step two of the Quran blueprint, the love it module. Now, in the third stage of a marriage, you might find that although a couple, they know each other really well and they keep each other's love tanks topped up, the differences between them become more and more apparent with each passing day. And that's because you have to remember that although it's, you know, that these spouses, they're living under the same roof, essentially they're still two different people. So they have different perceptions. They have different personalities and expectations, different habits. And in order to really solidify their marriage, to move forward, for it to operate really harmoniously and for them to work as, you know, as an integrated entity, what needs to happen is for them to mold and sync their lives with one another by making the time for each other and by discovering ways that they can, as two individuals, still grow in unison together. Now, this is easier said than done because this is actually the biggest challenge and the biggest learning curve for any couple. But subhanAllah, it's also a key stage that we often struggle with in our Quran relationships too. You know, you can find people who are in awe of the miraculous nature of the Quran and they love it dearly, but they still struggle to incorporate more of it into their life and to be able to consistently achieve more with it. And that's because people don't realize that there is a science to successfully integrating new habits and routines and there are methods to make that process personally work for you. In the Quran blueprint, I'm going to address how you can integrate more of the Quran into your daily life by first demystifying the number one obstacle that people say they face in trying to integrate more of the Quran into their daily life and that is their lack of time. Now, I'm going to talk about the secret of why we don't actually have enough time in our lives for more of the Quran. And I'm also going to provide you with the Quranic formula to win in your fight against time, inshallah. And aside from the quantity, I'm going to focus in module three on also developing the quality of your Quran relationship so that you can grow in your interactions and your learning of the Quran long term, inshallah, so that that, progress, that process for you, it can be more easy, more enjoyable and more meaningful for you, inshallah. That's everything that we're going to be covering in step three of the Quran module, the live with it module. And then the final key stage that a couple must maneuver their way through, inshallah, to experience that meaningful marriage long term is to be able to sustain everything that they've built in the previous stages for the long journey ahead, inshallah. And that's because life happens. I mean, we don't know what tomorrow holds for us, right? We don't know what changes we might experience to our health or our families, our finances and lifestyles. And subhanAllah, even those changes that we plan, like maybe perhaps a moving country or changing career or starting a family, we never truly know what the real impact those choices are going to have on us because this is part of the ghayb, right? This is part of the unseen that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. And all of these potential changes, as well as the usual, you know, daily ups and downs of life, they can really impact a relationship, either for better or for worse. And what couples really need to do is to be able to equip themselves with some fundamental strategies and techniques to master any situation that they might find themselves in. And the same goes for our Quran relationship as well. Both the daily ups and downs of life and the unforeseen changes that you know life can throw at us, they can affect the quantity and quality of our Quran interactions and our relationship with it. So in step four of the Quran blueprint, inshallah, I'm going to teach you how you can master six key elements in your life that will not only help you to better deal with any unpredictable changes that you might face, inshallah, but enable you, regardless of your daily ups and downs, to be able to turn up to your Quran time with peace of mind, 
with passion, with excitement and energy, with confidence and productivity every single time, inshallah. These six areas that you're going to learn to master in this program is your life balance, your spirituality, your emotions, your body, your mind, and your practical time, inshallah. And I'm also going to teach you how you can keep the Quran alive in your life by uniquely incorporating it into your personal life goals and your mission, inshallah. So all of this will be covered in step four of the Quran Blueprint, the lifestyle module. So by the end of this Quran Blueprint program, inshallah, you should be trained in the four L's. You will know how to learn the Quran, how to love the Quran, how to live with the Quran, and how to create a Quran lifestyle, inshallah. The best thing about being part of a program like this is that when you're transforming your personal relationship with the Quran, you're actually transforming your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself as a result. And that's because the Quran is his very words. And both you and I know that our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most important relationship, right? And don't forget, when you focus on transforming your Qur'an relationship, it also provides you with the opportunity to potentially transform yourself and your life too. And I think this beautiful opportunity has been wonderfully summed up by an author by the name of Quran Murad. And he basically said, Nine months spent in the womb of your mother has transformed a drop of water into you, hearing, seeing and thinking. Can you imagine what a lifetime with the Qur'an, seeking, hearing, seeing, thinking, striving can do for you? It can transform you into a completely new being, whom even the angels would be proud to kneel, subhanAllah. And that's why I always tell my students to remember that the Qur'an, when it was revealed, it transformed the, way, the world in ways that seemed impossible, right? But every time we open the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also inviting you and I to transform our lives in similarly unimaginable ways. And let's admit, who doesn't want to become a better version of themselves and achieve more in their life in some way, right? I think a great thing about this program specifically is that it offers you clarity on your Qur'an journey because it's really clear framework. It allows you to kind of step back and to be able to analyze and identify where the root problems are stemming from. So you know the obstacles and the struggles that you face, you'll be able to identify what the real underlying issues are so that you're able to address them more effectively. And you know the clear progressive steps in the Quran Blueprint, it allows you to know exactly what you need to do next in order to really develop your Quran relationship and take it to that next level. And you know, this program, it also equips you with the confidence and that flexible skill set so that you can overcome, inshallah, any obstacle and struggle that you may face moving forward on your Quran relationship. And I think another fantastic thing about this course is its inclusivity. And that's because this course hasn't been created for a specific type of Muslim or for Muslims that are at a specific level in their life at the moment or a specific phase. It's made for, for Muslims from all walks of life. So that's regardless of whether you've never had a relationship with the Qur'an before and you just want to get started, or you already have an amazing relationship with the Qur'an and you want to know how you can take things to that next level. Now this course, it's for that mother who's striving to be a really good role model for her children. It's for that student that's still trying to figure things out in life. It's for that working professional who is desperately trying to feed their soul as they juggle all their worldly responsibilities. And it's for that entrepreneur too, who has worked so hard to be able to now focus on their spirituality. You know, what's awesome is that although this program has been built on a very structured framework, every step of that process is focused on you, the individual, and on how you can personalize your Quran journey. And that's because I am a firm believer that like with any journey that we undertake in our lives, our spiritual journeys are just as personal to us. And that's why I've also included with the Quran Blueprint something called an action journal. And that's something that you can download and you can fill out as you go through the course. And that basically provides you with practical steps and guidelines for how you can personally implement everything that I share in the program in your own life so that inshallah you can start to experience transformations of your own. Alhamdulillah, you'll find that both the aim of this course and its contents is unlike anything out there today. 
At the start of the video, I mentioned that you can find some great courses that can teach you Arabic and Tajweed and Tafsir and Quran memorization, etc. But you won't find a comprehensive program like this that is solely focused on building that really personally meaningful and deeply fulfilling friendship with the Quran that's focused on building substance. And the content of this course is a really unique fusion of Quran study, personal development and coaching as well. So it really is a course the first of its like. And by me selecting the best practices and techniques out there for you in this course that I know work because I use them myself and I've taught them successfully to hundreds of others as well, I've aimed to try to save you the resources, the energy, and most importantly, the precious time that you would have needed to invest to figure out all of this stuff on your own. And that's because I know that your schedule and your lifestyle is busy enough as it is, right? Now, I usually sell this course for 147 pounds, but today, inshallah, as part of a special limited Ramadan offer, I'm gonna be actually giving you access to the Quran Blueprint for only 97 pounds. You know, a lot of people have asked me why despite having spent no less than £10,000 on my own Qur'an journey so far, on books, accreditations, mentors and courses, etc. And why, despite having spent a decade now learning and um, you know, testing and coaching and teaching, why I'm happy to be sharing everything that I've learned in this program for just a fraction of the time and the cost that I did. And you know, the answer is always really simple. And that's because every time somebody reaches out to me to share the practical struggles that they face on their Qur'an journey or the emotional struggles that they experience trying to attain their Qur'an heart goals or they tell me about the fears and the worries that they experience attempting to just make more of their Qur'an relationship it really hurts me. It genuinely does. And that's because I totally understand and I can relate to how they feel. I get it. I get their pain, I get their frustration, I get their worries and their confusion, I get their sadness and their desperate hope. And that's because it takes me back to when I felt the exact same way. When I would go desperately, you know, really confused from book to book, uh, you know, course to course, trying to find deeper answers to the questions I had about my Quran relationship. When I would reflect on stagnant periods in my Quran relationship and wonder with a lot of sadness and worry, whether it was because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wasn't pleased with me. When I would experience a lot of frustration at the seemingly never-ending obstacles that I faced, whether that was with the language or momentum in my Qur'an studies or trying to balance my life with the Qur'an time, etc. You know, I think my experiences have given me a really unique understanding and an appreciation for this journey that a lot of people trek. And I genuinely care about those people. You know, at the end of the day, these are my brothers and sisters that are trying to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the Qur'an, so how can I not care? You know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He was really merciful to me. He sent me some really special people during my journey and gave me some really pretty awesome opportunities that I should be eternally grateful for. And when I get to work with other people on their Qur'an relationship, it not only keeps memories of my journey and my gratitude for it very much alive but it honestly humbles me that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would choose little old me grant me with the opportunity to be able to serve his special people I say that because you know there's a hadith where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said inna lillahi ahlina minan nas verily to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belongs a special group of people and it was asked to him Men hum ya Rasulullah? Who are they, O Messenger of Allah? And the Prophet ﷺ replied, Ahlul Qur'an. Hum ahlillah wa khasatu. They are the people of the Qur'an, the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his specialties. These special people are those who strive to read as much of the Qur'an as they can, to try to ponder on as much of the Qur'an as possible, who try to implement as much of the Qur'an as possible, who try to study and to memorize as much as they can people like you inshallah. So it's a genuine honor to be able to serve such special people who I care about and to also be able to witness the amazing transformations that these individuals you know, experience 
and the transformation that they contribute in our global revival of our Qur'an culture. To me, it's priceless. It's a personal dream that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permits, I wish to be part of for the rest of my life, inshallah. You know, I really want you to benefit and to enjoy this journey that we're going to take together, inshallah. And I want it to have a lasting impact on your spirituality and on your life. So I've chosen to gift you with some amazing free additional bonuses when you join the Quran Blueprint program. So first and foremost, I'm going to give you free access to my Quran Blueprint for Kids program. And that's basically a webinar series that teaches you how you can implement everything you learn in the Quran Blueprint program specifically for children. So that features additional um, special tips and techniques, some fun engaging activities that you can use to help you to nurture within children a beautiful personal relationship with the Quran, which I'm sure you'll agree is the best gift that you can give a child, right? I mean, it's a great guide to use for your own kids or for kids that you might work with in masjids or uh, in Islamic schools, for example, or you can just simply use it with your nephews, your nieces and your neighbors, inshallah, to make your interactions with them more special. Now, this program that I'm gifting you with free of charge is usually worth 97 pounds. And secondly, I want to give you free access to five beautifully illustrated mind maps that you can download. And what the mind maps are, are they basically a visual representation of everything that I'm going to teach in the Quran Blueprint program that you can look at to review your learning or to refresh your memory whenever you want. And that's made in a way for you that's really simple, clear and easy to remember, inshallah. And that set is usually worth £47. And thirdly, I want to gift you with free access to my A to Z Quran memorization course, which it basically covers in depth everything that you might want or may need to know in order to achieve your Quran memorization goals. So it has answers to the top 26 questions that are commonly asked on the subject of Quran memorization. And that includes things like why we should memorize, how much should I memorize, um, you know, how do I balance my Quran memorization with my revision, for example, or what are the top techniques for effective memorization? Which reciters should I listen to? How should I, you know, how can I stay focused and motivated? What is the best resources out there, etc. And on top of that, you have a whole section in that program just related to fiqh Q&A on the topic of our Quran relationship. And that program is usually worth £67, but as I said, for anyone joining the Qur'an Blueprint program, they're going to get access to the course and all of those bonuses free of charge, inshallah. And remember, you can actually access the Qur'an Blueprint program along with all of those free bonuses risk-free with my 21-day money-back guarantee. So, for example, should you access the course and while you're studying, you decide for whatever reason that it's not for you, then that's okay, inshallah. You can just contact me and my team and we will refund your purchase, inshallah. But you should know that registration for the Qur'an Blueprint program it is limited. So it will only be open for a very short period of time before closing. So if you are interested in joining the program, please do check out the dates below so that you don't miss out on registration. You know, the development of our Qur'an relationship is a journey that we undertake. And it's not simply a destination that we reach. So now as you move forward, you're going to realize the number one obstacle you will most certainly face, like we all do, will be in consistently trekking your path long term to keep yourself moving forward. Because the reality is we all face obstacles that sometimes makes us feel stuck or alone or that raises questions that we need answers for or that even makes us doubt ourselves, right? That's why I'm going to give you another additional amazing free bonus when you join the Quran Blueprint program today, inshallah. I'm going to gift you with three months free subscription to my Quran club. This is basically a private group where on a monthly basis, I directly coach my members on various different aspects of their Quran relationship. We have live discussions and Q and A's. I'm going to be sharing my, you know, the new tips and techniques I've learned for that month, some inspirational stories and case studies for us to benefit from, etc. So it really is a great place to consistently connect and get support from like-minded people on the same journey as you. It's a great place to consistently get clarity on any new issues that you might be struggling with or questions that you have. It's a great place to consistently learn practical information and get some really great inspiration to help keep you going on your Quran journey towards living a Quranic lifestyle, inshallah. And that three month membership is usually worth 147 pounds. But like I said, you get free access to it when you join the Quran Blueprint program. And just so you know, 
when you, you know, join this program, you're not just benefiting yourself and your loved ones, but excitingly, you're going to actually also get the opportunity to directly contribute to a global Quran revolution within our Ummah. And that's because with each course that's purchased, it's going to help us to fund our amazing Quran revival projects around the world, inshallah. And they include projects like distributing material and classes, introducing the Quran to non-Muslims, as well as providing structured Quran study and hith program for Muslims as well. And it even includes some really special projects that are close to my heart for people that I think we often neglect in our communities. So there are projects such as distributing uh, braille Qur'ans for the blind, for example, or special Qur'an le lessons and classes for the deaf. So you're going to be benefiting from joining this program long after you and I depart from this world, inshallah, through these Sadaqah Jariya projects too. So just to briefly recap, when you join the Qur'an Blueprint program today, you're going to get access to a unique four-week online course that's going to help you to revolutionize your personal relationship with the Qur'an, inshallah, through the simple four-step process of teaching you how to learn the Qur'an, how to love it, how to live with it, and how to create for yourself a Qur'an lifestyle, inshallah. And as bonuses, you're going to get free access to my Qur'an Blueprint for Kids webinar series, a set of five beautifully illustrated Qur'an Blueprint mind maps, the A to Z Qur'an memorization course, plus three months membership to my Qur'an club, inshallah. And on top of all of that, your purchase will help to fund our really exciting Qur'an rev revival projects, inshallah. You know, I want to end by sharing with you a profoundly beautiful quote that a companion of the Prophet sallallahu once said by the name of Khabbab ibn al-Abd. He said, do whatever you wish to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but know that you will never get closer to him with something more beloved to him than his own word, meaning the Qur'an. So I want you to remember that this decision to embark on this Qur'an journey is actually a decision you're making to directly develop your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. And there is nothing more honorable than that, is there? No amount of dedicated time, money or effort is better placed in anything other than he who blessed you with that time, money and energy to begin with, right? And he's the master of all those things. Look, I have to say it's a genuine honor for me to be able to connect and to potentially be part of the Qur'an journeys of beautiful souls like yourself. And I say that because out of millions of Muslims out there in the world today who are naturally preoccupied and distracted with all the responsibilities that they have in life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He intentionally and purposely selected you to come across this video to invite you to come closer to Him through that which is most beloved to Him, the Qur'an, because you are beloved to Him. So look, no matter what your life story is, I know that not only do you want more for your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you want more of the Qur'an in, the, in your life, but that you undoubtedly deserve it, inshallah. You really owe this to yourself because your soul, it craves its creator. So click on that button below, inshallah. I absolutely can't wait to start this journey with you. See you on the other side, inshallah. Let's go.